folks, Roby here with another Divi tutorial brought to you by the team at Divi Engine. In this tutorial series, we're taking a look at how to undivify your Divi sites by fixing those dead giveaways that your site was built with a Divi theme. The last time I showed you how to add this dynamic footer to your site and definitely go ahead and check that out if you've not yet done so. But today we're going to be showing you how to get rid of this ugly Divi secondary menu, this blue thing, by building out something that looks a little bit nicer like this that'll stick to the top of the page as you scroll down. So let's jump right into it. So we're going to start here on the front end this time because I want to show you how you can do some basic customization of this secondary menu up here. You just go up here to the theme customizer and we'll see a bunch of options pop up here on the left hand side. We see our secondary menu bar up here. Now, if you go to header and navigation and you go to this secondary menu bar, this is where you kind of control some of the elements here, but you'll, you'll notice that there aren't things like alignment or anything like that. You're kind of stuck to this basic layout. So you can change the background color. You can make it red if you wanted to. Um, you can make the text uppercase. You know, there's some really basic, basic things that you can do with that. Um, you can also go here to your header elements and you can take off the social icons if you like. You can take the search icon away, that'll disappear from there. Um, and then you can change the email and the phone number, but that's really all you can do with stock Divi. So let's go and look at how we would add the secondary menu bar right in the Divi theme folder. Okay, so if you've been following along, you already know how to get there, but you did get to the Divi theme folder by hovering over Divi on the left hand on the back end of your Divi site and then going to theme folder. Now I can open up the global header that we've built previously in the series here, and you'll see it pop up right here, nice and easy. So we need to add firstly another row that will make our uh, little secondary menu up there. So what I'm going to select here is just uh, 33, 33, 33 um, column row, so three columns. And I'm not going to utilize this first um, cell or column. I'm going to drag this to the top here just so that it can go nice in the top. And then we're going to do some settings on the row first. Now we're going to give it a background color and we'll do a gradient. Now our gradient is going to have a few stops in there. Um, I'm going to add two more. So let's put it at 33 and then at 66. So it's nice and even. Now I've got some colors pre-selected here that I know will work well, um, but you can do whatever you want here. This is of course just as a demonstration for you. So I'm just going to copy and paste these in here. Okay, that's that one done. Next, oh, come on. There we go. Next one. And get the next one. Oh, there we are. Paste that one in there. And then my last color. And you can get the codes to all these colors in the written version of this tutorial, just in case you want to use the same one. Now, the other thing we want to do is that we want to tell it that the gradient direction is going to be 90 degrees. And then you get this nice uh, kind of flowy, almost like sunset uh, color that looks great. Okay. Now we need to do some more things on this row. As you can tell, it's not full width. So let's go ahead and do that. So we go to the design tab for this row. In sizing settings, we're going to remove the gutter. So set that use custom gutter width, yes. And gutter width is going to be one. We'll equalize our column heights and we will tell it to have 100% width. And then also the max width is going to be 2560. And now you can kind of see this coming together. Cool. OK, so lastly, we want to change some of the spacing. That's obviously very large and we don't want it as big as the rest of our content. So we're going to add padding for the top at 10 pixels and we'll just drop the padding on the bottom, bottom completely. Cool. All right. So that's the road done. And now we're ready to add our text in. So let's 
kind of do a promo here that we're going to say, well, if they spend $100 in our store, they can get free shipping. But you can utilize this top section, the secondary menu bar, for pretty much anything you want. I, you can have an actual menu in there by dropping a menu module in, or you can add a button in, or you can just convey any type of message you want. So it's very convenient. It's a really nice design thing to add in there for your customers or your potential clients to just kind of convey anything that you want to. So anyway, we're going to go with the shipping option. So we're going to add a text module. So I'm going to type in text. And then I already prepared some text here, nice and easy. That's just going to say free shipping for all orders over 100 bucks. There we go. But we can't really see it. So we're going to go to the design tab. We'll go to text. I'm going to select my Poppins font. I'm going to set default weight to ultra bold. I'm going to put it to uppercase. I'm going to make it white. And then lastly, I'm going to give it a little bit of a bump in size there. And then also we want to change the alignment so it's nice and centered there. Perfect. Now, you know, also a benefit of utilizing the Divi theme builder here, instead of using the stock default Divi secondary menu bars, you can use any module you do in Divi right up there. So that should get the juices flowing on some different applications or uses that you have. So that is nice. Okay, so I'm gonna save that one. And then next we want to add our social icon. So we'll, in the third column, type in social media follow. Now we don't like that blue, um, those backgrounds. So we're gonna delete the first icon. And then we're going to go into Facebook. Now you would go and put your link for your Facebook account right there. And I'm just going to delete the background out. So you see that it kind of conforms a little bit more to the rest of the site. I'm going to save that one. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this twice because I'm lazy. And I'll go into the second one and I'll select my network is going to be, I mean, you can select any of your networks here, but I'm going to put the, where's Twitter? There we go. I got Twitter on, you'll put your link as normal, but now I don't need to delete that background as I just copied one that already had a deleted background. So for the last one, we just go to network and then I'm gonna go ahead and select Instagram. Perfect, and again, you would put your link in here, but I'm not gonna do that right now. And save that and save that. And now we can save this layout right here. And now when I go to the front end here, I can exit the customizer that we were in a minute ago. There we go. And there we can see our beautiful header. Now, you know, maybe I want to scooch these icons up to the right here. I'll just go back in the theme builder. I'll open up the settings for this module. I'll go to design alignment and say, okay, well, I want your right line now. So that kind of works great. So let's just go to the front end and refresh. And there you go all on the right there. So you guys can see how this is so easy to use and it's so quick to just change that default ugly blue into something that looks much, much better. Whoops, yeah, I totally forgot. To make this secondary menu header sticky, so it sticks to the top of the page as you scroll, all you need to do is go here into the row settings. You go to the advanced tab and then you're gonna scroll down to scroll effects and this sticky position, you're just gonna say stick to the top. You're gonna save that and then you will save it right here. And that is how you go about doing that. Okay, so back to the closing of this video. So guys, this is it for this tutorial. So stay tuned, we're gonna be releasing more installments in this Undivifying series. Definitely like and subscribe the channel and let us know what type of content you wanna see. But guys, that's it from me, Roby, with the Divi Engine team. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.